Good evening. Illegal fireworks have been the biggest problem during Adelaide's New Year's Eve celebrations, sparking grass fires threatening several properties overnight. CFS crews rushed to 80 call-outs, while party hotspots also caused hectic moments for police. Hindley Street, just before midnight. This was one reveller who saw in the new year from a cell. Police making 116 arrests, about the same as last year. And despite scenes like this at Glenelg, police were pleased with the night overall. There were lots of family groups out and about um, at all of the fireworks events and the streets generally were pretty, pretty good. But illegal backyard fireworks did cause problems. This grass fire at One Tree Hill, one of many, is started by revellers. It came dangerously close to homes. It disappoints us that people uh, are not vigilant, are careless and in some cases malicious to light fires. Fireworks also blamed for this outbreak at Selix just after midnight. The flames quickly spreading across the cliff tops. And further south, fireworks caused this blaze at Currency Creek. Back in town, police made their presence felt throughout the West End, cracking down on drunkenness and antisocial behaviour. This morning was the first time the 3am lockout rule was truly tested, and officers from the Licensing Enforcement Branch say there were no breaches. After the restricted entry time, the volume of foot, foot track of traffic in Hindley Street decreased um, and there were very few incidents involving people wandering the streets. Paramedics also relieved to have a quieter than expected night. Although one party goer at Glenelg was treated, call-outs were about half of last year's number. They've heeded all the warnings that have been issued by police and uh, other authorities. Catherine Kennedy, Nine News.